guys and back to my channel. Hope everyone is having a phenomenal day today. So today I'm excited because this is our first month of Boxy Charm. I'm very excited. Literally had like the worst moment when he came to the door because I was like, I want my sissy here now so I can open him so I can see what's inside because this is one of the like two, pretty much two, um, subscription boxes that I won't open because for the most part they're like full prices and jazz and you'll see in a second as I open him. So as I've told you guys before when I do my subscription boxes, if you're new, I break down the prices of every single item in there so you know how much the box is actually worth. So let's dive right into this box. And if I'm remember this me correct, I want to say BoxyCharm is different across the boxes, like everywhere gets something, well not everywhere gets something different, there's obviously duplicate boxes, but there's multiple versions of the BoxyCharm box. So this is what I got. So one, this box is super cute, like when you open it, it says, Hello Charmer, adorable, of course I got that social media on the top because, you know, got to get that promo in. Um, so yeah, so it has a theme. So this theme is creepy, cute, whatever the fudge that means, but the card's kind of fun. Look at that. Pretty fun. Now, BoxyCharm, I was very impressed with because on the back of their card, which normally I would never read first because I want to see the product. I don't care about the freaking card. So let's see. Will you focus for me? The light got to catch you weird. Um, come on, focus for me, camera. I think it focused. Um, but they go ahead and list the pr um, product, the company that makes the product, the retail price of the product, and the company's website in a little brief description and a bonus tip. I love this. This is fabulous. This is cool. But of course, am I going to say that uh, whatever they put on the retail price is the actual retail price? Uh, no. I'm still going to go ahead and look it up and validate for myself. Because um, I want to make sure we're getting the right thing. So, going to explain the card for just a moment. So, I'm going to pull out each individual product. You know, let's start with this brush because this brush is really fun. So my sister saw this and she was really upset because she had just bought it was a NYX. Um, NYX had these really cool like they're what the professional brushes. I'm looking to my sister off on the side by the way. Um, so they came out there in brushes so she was in love with this fan brush from NYX and then of course we get in our Broxy Charm first one a fan brush. So this is the Jumbo Kabuki Fan. This is the SS023 brush. That's a long number. Um, but this brand is from Crown Brush. So, really, really fun. Really nice and fluffy. I like a little bit of a denser brush myself when it comes to like, my fan brush. Of course, I compare everything to my beautiful Tarte brush. Like, I don't know if I want to contour with this because it's typically what I use a fan brush for. It's a Kabuki. I don't care what they say he is. I'm telling you what I say. Um, but yeah, so I wish he was just a little bit denser, but my sister is like, uh, hashtag love, hashtag want him. He's coming to me. So yeah, so this brush is indeed the full size they sell online. So his retail price, where the fudge are you? Um, is $18.99. So excited. Not bad first shot. Um, next thing is the, what the fudge is this? This must have come out of one of the tubes. No idea. I have literally this little piece of paper. I think it must come out like lipstick or something. One of the products oh, probably dropped this off. Box. My bad. It was a lipstick box. My sister literally was like, here, let me open everything because I want to touch it. Um, so speaking of lipstick, let's go ahead and talk about this. So this is the Real Her and this is the Lady Love Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade I Am Fearless. Love their names. One. Also, their packaging is very interesting. So it says... See, will you focus for me, cameras? You focus. I love if I'm talking to it like it's my cat. I'm like, Felix, come here. I want to take a picture. Okay, don't hate me. Um, but yeah, it says on the side, I am fearless. Super duper cute. Um, no joke, I was trying this on, like we were opening this as I was driving the car and we were stopped at a traffic light, like one of those like intersections that take you 20 minutes to get through. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and put this on because I don't want to swatch it because what if it doesn't want to come off easy? So it makes more sense to put it on my lips if it doesn't want to come off easy. Worst mistake ever. So you know like when a three year old finds their mom's lipstick and they're like, ha, 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 ha. that's what my lips look like after trying to put this on in like the rear view mirror of like, uh huh, let me just put that on. Um, it was terrible, terrible. I looked horrible, would not have Instagrammed that ever. Um, it doesn't, it has a perfumey smell, like, but like one of my good perfumes. Like it reminds me of kind of like my Kate Spade walk on air, which is a very odd thing to compare 
a liquid lip too. So I am going to swatch him. I know he's going to be a pain to get off, but I want you guys to see the color. The color is really pretty. It's like right up my alley. It's a beautiful berry color. So obviously since I've had the formula physical on my lips, I can already kind of talk about him. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely gorgeous. Like a beautiful like berry, ruby color. Absolutely love it. Now his formula. So it wasn't the easiest. Obviously I'm like using it like in a rear view mirror. Um, it wasn't the easiest to kind of like apply. It's very, very thin. But my lord, does it stay? I literally was like, okay, this looks terrible. Let me wipe it off. I grab a napkin to try to wipe it off my face. And it doesn't move. Nothing is coming off. Literally still there. And I'm like, what the fudge? So it's definitely something if you're going to wear this, you need like a face oil to try to help break it down. But definitely would make it through a makeup test. Like he would totally win. Um, so yeah, very excited about him. I feel like I'm talking a lot about that one product, but I've already kind of tried him, so. Yeah, so he is full size, and he is $15. I feel like BoxyCharm really just is kind of full sizes, or like, sold, sold sizes. I'm going to try to see if one of my Ulta makeup wipes will take this off. I have a feeling it's not going to. Actually, you know, I'm going to let him dry a little bit so you guys can show you how well he does not want to come off. Um, so next... This is also from Real Her. This is the Expert Advice Lip Liner. And you are in the shade I Am Unstoppable. I love the names of them because they're more like a statement than like a regular name. I love that. So this one, I'm going to have to look him up a little bit more because me and my sister both cannot figure out how the fudge you get more product because he doesn't look like he turns. But he doesn't feel like a normal pencil either, so I don't know if you actually sharpen him or if there's just some black magic you have to use on him to get more product. But I was a little shocked because I was like, they're giving us two from the same band, but they don't match because this is definitely like a nude. Look at that. Definitely like a nude. It feels a lot better though. He is awesome. He smells like nothing. Of course, I might be smelling my eucalyptus rain over here, so I can probably smell nothing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to look him up. But he is full size as well, and he is worth $12.50. Really loving this box. So good. Okay, you know, I'm going to save him for last, because he's really funny. So, next, we got something from Naked Cosmetics, which I have never heard of this brand before. Focus on my camera. There we go. Um, so this is actually a palette, which... I can't get out of the box, out of the box, out of the box. Does anyone remember that show? That was like my jam when I was a kid. Love that show. He literally is like refusing. It's like, Susan, did you use duct tape to get him back in? Yes. Sissy. Ugh. I ripped the box. Hashtag don't care. Um, so yeah, this is an eyeshadow palette. Which, I had the card while my sister was literally opening it, because I was like, here, it's the first one, you open it. Um, and so I read that it is a palette, and so I was like, okay, so like, how many eyeshadows? It's three. It's a, um, I was going to call it a quad. That's four. Trio. A trio. So this is him. So, so pretty. So this is actually the reading card upside down. This is the Urban Rustic Palette by Naked Cosmetics. So his value is $39.99. He is legitimately $39.99, though technically I swear it was, I want to say it was $45.95 on their website and they like reduced it. But fun fact, this palette isn't out yet. BoxyCharm, that is really cool. So these colors, my sister loves this green. It's probably the only shade out of the palette that I actually do not care for. He's bomb. But, here, let me move this box over here because I'm afraid I'm going to drop him. Off of my lap. Look at all that shimmer though. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to take him off and take off this lip liner. And I think the lip grid lip is finally dry. So I can show you guys. Okay, hang on. Nothing on my fingertips. Rubbing it across. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This thing is bomb. I'm going to try to see if he comes off with the makeup wipe. Kind of. <laughs> Granted, this is not one of my better makeup wipes. This is the ultra makeup wipe. Like, it's kind of breaking down the product. Like, you can kind of see it's kind of rubbing it off a little. But it's not smearing. 
So it's just kind of slowly breaking down the product. It's very, very interesting. I love it. I would totally consider getting more from that brand if I had a need for, like, lips not coming off. Love that I'll be able to, like, have that one I'm talking, though. So this is the orange shade. Look at all that shimmer. Oh, I'm in love with this. Though my absolute favorite shade when my sister saw it, she was like, this is totally you because I love, like, red shades and berry shades. So this one is totally up my alley. I did not grab enough product for first swatch. Look at that! Ugh. I'm in love with him. He's so freaking pretty. They're definitely not buttery like some of the eyeshadows that I've used, but I don't care. The color payoff is gorgeous, and I kind of like that it's like a trio rather than like a little miniature palette, because no joke, I have my Smashbox one. It's almost the same size as the Smashbox. Actually, I think it pretty much is the same size as the Smashbox. This is my Blaze palette. Still in the box! Have not used him. I have problems. Um, but yeah, I kind of like that they're like giant shades, because no joke, my sister will use up that whole pan of that green shade, and I'll probably use up the whole pan of the other two. So, very impressed with that. Where did my card go? I threw him on the floor. I threw him on the floor. Um, so yeah, that was $39.99. It's insane. No joke would not pay 40 bucks for him. Because that's cray cray. Um, last thing that was in the box is this 8x5 piece box. Besides all the lovely confetti in here. No one counts that. Um, we got a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. So this is the travel size. It is a .5 ounce. And I saved this product for last specifically because, no joke, I wanted to look it up. So I went on Sephora's website and I was like, here, let me see how much he is. Um, let me ask you guys, does it make sense that, okay, so if he is $16, because it's worth it on the card, they do sell the travel size for $16, same at Ulta. If he's half of the full size, which is a one ounce, he's a .5 ounce, it would make sense if his full size was $32, because that's what 16 plus 16 is. Why is he 36? I have no idea. I literally was like downfunded that that exists. I'm like, what the fudge? Because it's very rarely do you see a travel size or a smaller size be its larger sister. And by rare, I mean, I've never seen it happen before. Like, it's been, like, years, I think, since I've seen one. But, yeah, so if you're interested in the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, just go ahead and buy, like, two of the small ones, because you'll save four bucks. Why the fudge did they do that? I don't know. Whatever. Maybe they're more like, um, let's get the smaller ones, and they'll, maybe they'll buy more. I have no idea. But, yeah, so that was $16. So that brings the grand total of this box, which I did not mention. This box is $21 a month. That includes the shipping and all that jazz. Um, but his total retail value is $102.48. Oh, my goodness. He saves you 80% on lovely makeup products. And no joke, I am excited about every single product in this box, so I'm getting the full value. But, yeah, that was it. So, yeah, this month, though, I think we actually had... We had a lot of subscription boxes because we had Beautycon, Ipsy, BoxyCharm, Sephora Play, Birchbox, and we had an extra Ipsy bag because I ordered an extra bag. So that's six subscription services. How so? I don't care. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to watch more of my videos, I have like a ton of them I upload every single day. But if you want to get notifications for those videos, make sure you hit that weird little bell. If you want to follow me on social media, there is a link down in the description below. Stay foxy, guys.